joining us now, Congressman Ken Buck of the House Antitrust and House Judiciary Committees. Congressman, it's good to have you back on. Your reaction to this report, and we have that hearing tomorrow, is there now a serious movement to do something about this in Congress? I think there is serious movement. I think it's really important that the public understands the need for the movement. Uh, it, it is clear that uh, Facebook has shown uh, no uh, interest in stopping the uh, predators who use the site, for example, uh, human traffickers and, and drug dealers. They have shown very little interest in the fact that uh, teen suicide rates are going up, that teen girls especially uh, have uh, serious issues when they're using Instagram uh, serious bodily issues, uh, and and so there there are all these um, uh, you know problems that that really magnify the monopoly issue that Facebook is involved in. If we have five Facebooks, we have competitive pressure to make sure that that these companies deal with the the uh, really abuses that are going on. And Congressman, uh, the Facebook whistleblower said, "quote Facebook's own research shows." that it knows that its content is hateful, that it's divisive, that it's polarizing, and that, it's, that you, they do that because it's easier to inspire people to anger than it is to other emotions, and that way, that's the way they keep them hooked to the site. What do you say to that? I think it's so important that we have an insider uh, talking about what we have seen from the outside for a while. The antitrust subcommittee in the House did a 16-month uh, investigation and drew many of the same conclusions that, that we're now hearing are being confirmed by uh, a Facebook employee and the, and the documents that she has in possession. And I, I think it's absolutely amazing that a company can put profit over people the way Facebook does. Every company wants to make profit but not at the expense of, of human death. So what do you do? Do you regulate them like phone companies? Because even you have Democrat Senator Richard Blumenthal says Facebook is using, quote, big tobacco's playbook, getting people addicted, then hiding its own research on how addictive it is and its toxic effects from its product. Its own uh, re internal research shows about a third of teenagers who use Instagram, teenage girls have negative impacts from Instagram as well. So how how exactly is Congress going to regulate this or stop it? Well, first of all, I think that it's important to, to uh, note that uh, it takes someone 30, 40, 50 years to die from tobacco use. Uh, these teenage girls are committing suicide after a few months, a year, two years on, on Instagram and, and the Facebook accounts. And so I, I think it's um, uh, really misleading in some ways to compare them to, to, uh, to compare Facebook to big uh, tobacco. But I think the key is that we've passed six bills out of the uh, antitrust subcommittee um, or out of the uh, Judiciary Committee, and those bills are going to the floor. And we need to get every single What's, Republican vote we can so, which that, one, so that issues like this are, are, are dealt with. Which piece of legislation, which bill has the, the most legs? Which one do you think has, it, I, and we'd love to know, we don't want to hear all six are great. We want to know which one do you think will pass in a bipartisan way? Sure, I think the merger bill will pass. I think the, the fact that these four monopolies, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, and Google, have uh, really uh, gobbled up so many of the startup tech companies, uh, sometimes putting them on the shelf and sometimes using them, that placing a higher burden on those four companies uh, to engage in mergers is, is a critical way of, of slowing down the growth and, and allowing uh, competition to uh, cr be created in the marketplace. I also think structural separation is important. The, the idea that uh, Facebook bought Instagram and the FTC didn't have the information to examine it. Hmm. Interesting. So it's going to be like the 1980s, break up the phone companies, fight all over again. Antitrust action, interesting stuff. Congressman Ken Buck, it's always insightful and terrific to have you on. Come back soon.